All right, welcome back to the Mar Brothers. Thank you so much for tuning in today in this special edition with this stunning 6.9 million euro villa in the heart of Guadalmina Baja. Before I say more, let's get the drone shots, the ones that we love the most, and I hope you guys appreciate as well. Let's count it down. Three, two, one. Now tell me how much you love those drone shots and what do you think of the architectural structure of this house? Yes, I didn't say architectural, I'm trying to learn, so bear with me. Now some fun facts about the house. We have 3,191 square meters of plot land, 1,164 square meters interior built, four main bedrooms on which two are upstairs, two are on this level and one staff compartment in the basement. But hey, it's time to start with the tour right here let me close the door real quick which by the way how impressive is this and if the camera will capture it in the detail shot we have an immense depth in the hallway right over here now let's start off with our property tour right here let's go what we have right over here is the main living area of the house in all its beauty, depth and mesmerizing size. To be quite frank, if you look at the detail shots right now, you will see that we have a triple height ceiling. That is mind blowing with panels in a pyramid shape. Beautiful. Now, moving on from the roof at the ceiling, we also have a fireplace, yes, it's not a chimney, I'm sorry, I keep saying chimney, I know it's a fireplace. We have a natural fireplace right over here and of course access points outside to the big ample garden as well as a lot of light coming from the transit windows in which the water feature that I'll explain later outside is starting to make really cool images reflecting on the panels. Let's move on from here. We are back into the entry hole that's right behind me and we have this entire pathway that not only leads to what we will show you now of the office space but also a kitchen but let's start with the office space you ready let's go we are in the office space conveniently located next to the kitchen next to the living room in the center of the house so that when you're here you can have an overview of what's happening and you're not far away from everyone Great location, transit window, natural light coming in. Beautiful, if you want peace and quiet, you can also just close it with a pocket door in black. Great, Patrick, let's move on to the kitchen. This is a fully designed somatic kitchen. What I like about it, it is in a big room. You have this dominant kitchen aisle in sile stone. The countertops are nice and smooth to the touch. And you have the stove right here in the center in the kitchen now. Now often what people don't do, they put the stove on this side and the sinks on this side, meaning you'll be washing your dishes whilst you're talking to your guests. 
a little bit idiotic, but in this case, it's not the case. We also have an extraction machine right over here embedded into the ceiling so that it doesn't obstruct the views. Moving forward, we have all the washing machine here, dishwasher nicely hidden in this countertop, and of course, this twin set fridge from Gargenau with a super impressive size. I mean, Patrick, look at this. It is massive. It really is. You've got the freezer, you've got the fridge, and it's very elegant design from Gargenau. And all the appliances in this house are from Neff. Cool, moving forward, this staircase, we'll come to that at a later point, but you also have a space here where you could put a breakfast, snack, bench area. I would have done the same. And pointing out, I like how they went for the disruption with this wooden paneling here as a bar which disrupts the color of white in this kitchen, which is predominant. Moving forward, once again, a division of space with this convenient pocket door, which opens up to the dining area. Dining area, once again, elegant, light lit, transit window, floor to ceiling, windows that open up, which also give access to the outside terrace. We'll come to that, stay put. Nice big round table for 10 people, just enough. And of course, if you want to have some privacy, just simply close this one down. I'm also a big fan of separating the rooms, which you can do here. You've got the living room, and if you want, you can separate the dining area with that. All right, let's go outside, let's go. We have 3,191 square meters of plot land. Most of it is manicure, manicured, that's the word, manicured gardens with a lot of palm trees. I look at nature and nature is all around the premises of this plot, as you can see, making it embedded within nature, private and exquisite. And right over here, the no edge swimming pool, which is salted. And from this perspective, ladies and gentlemen, have a good look at the architecture, yes, architecture of the house, which is minimalistic, but has features which disrupt its clean lines, like the squares that just pop up and the black tiling of the permitted roof. And right over here, we have the gazebo with a dinner table. It's partially covered, toilet underneath, and a perfect setting for a late afternoon dinner. Now, ladies and gentlemen, follow me. As I was saying in the living room before, we have this water feature here. Not only is it elegant and looks very nice to look at, looks very nice to look at. Let me rephrase it. It's a very funky feature and the reflection goes all the way into the living room where you see the water play. Furthermore, on my right, on your left, we have the two ensuite bedrooms that I'm going to be showing you right now. So let's go. All right, moving inside once again, this is the heart of the house and it really feels like it. And a lot of my clients, they always say, Dom, the living room is too small or I don't feel like there's enough light. Well, trust me, when you come to this house and you see this ample captivating living room you're gonna be just as much in love as me and before you move out look at this elongated synced in niche with a couch area and transit windows very cool and you also have patrick have a look at this an elevator that connects all three floors i'm a bit scared to use elevators in houses but i'm gonna try this one for you guys Moving forward, if you zoom in, you have bedroom one and bedroom two that we're going to be showing you right now. So get prepared. Ready, set, go. All right. Now you've seen the detail shots. This is a 21, not 22 square meter big bedroom let's start with this bathroom because i'm fascinated it looks so rich you have the traventino marble floatings here vanity with two things you have hand 
Hans Grohe taps, which are actually premium taps, and of course, transit window with the view outside, shower. Let's have, let's go inside for a second. You also have the backsplash, Traventino marble on the walls right here, and a lot of light, and again, it's everywhere. It's so rich in marble, this bathroom, I'm a big fan. Now let's move back to the bedroom, because right here, you also have a little walk-in cupboard, more wardrobes right over here, and a very big sized bedroom. Now, before you go out, let me quickly explain. When I used to study in Vienna, in Austria, and I looked for properties to live in, I would find, no, actually I was looking for rooms to live in. I would search for minimum 15 square meter bedrooms because that was the size I found decent. So 22 square meters of size here, you are looking to a lot of room. And that's what you have here. You have even a little seating area, nice decor, everything's perfect and of course floor to ceiling windows and electric shutters that come down you can control them here with this little device you can actually control the air conditioning the lighting the blinds the underfloor heating which you have on the ground floor and first floor so this little baby allows you to maintain everything under control now let's move out patrick because we are going to use this exit point to walk right into bedroom number two which is nearly identical in size but it also feels so ample, big and spacious here with a working desk. And I very much like how this entire house has a continuation of black elements, like the framing of the picture frames here, the black windows, and of course the lamp hats over here. Now come with me because we have a transit window once again, and here's also the best example, the black framing, the black elements that are throughout and here carpet spaces and another amazing bathroom. Quickly jump in. This is the only bathroom that doesn't have a bathtub, but therefore you have a lot of space to shower and again light lit and you see the row of palm trees I mentioned it before and a lot of natural visibility and again you have the same marble plastered all around. Fantastic. Now Let's go outside because it's time for the first floor. Big fan of the bedrooms. What I like is that you have two on this wing of the house. You have a guest toilet here, by the way. Should we have a quick look into it? Let's have a look. Let's show it. It's also very elegant. The same marble flooring as in the entire first floor and the same marble as in the bedrooms. Super elegant. And what I wanted to point out really quickly, I made a little mistake because I said 261 square meters of living space. It's actually 371 here and 261 upstairs. You have two landings when you walk up here. Come, also a lot of lighting that exposes it and you have these elements here. Do you wanna scooch down, Patrick? This is also the same marble as we will see upstairs and you have this black marble here plastered, super elegant and a lot of recessed windows, transit windows here, my bad, transit windows, bringing a lot of light in. And this is the first landing before we head up to the first floor, so let's go. All right, as I was saying, the granite, now will be more exposed on this level. We have two bedrooms on this floor. One bedroom here, one bedroom over there. So two bedrooms have a total of 261 square meters that they're sharing. Let's have a look at this one first. Let's go. What I like about this bedroom, it is longitudinal. We have once again a lot of space and that's what the house is. It's spacious, it's ample. There's a lot of room. You can see it's beautifully decorated and designed. You have big windows moving out. And of course, this bedroom even has a gas fireplace. So elegant, but not to forget also the outside private terrace to be only used by this bedroom with sea views and of course 
your pool view, garden view, and a lot of nature that surrounds this plot. The sea view is right over there. I don't know if the camera will catch it. It's between the two palm trees. So, you want to tell me that this there is the sea view? Yes, I do. Let me quickly explain because we are in Guadalmina Baja. Guadalmina Baja, because it's Baja, which means low, you don't get sea views here unless you are frontline, like directly on the beach. And the only the reason why people buy in Guadalmina Baja is because it's safe, it's very green, it has a super lot of trees, and it's safe and it's consolidated. Very important. Now let's check out this bathroom. You have Toso marble in the bathrooms once again also here on the vanity with these really cool Hans Gröner taps and Villero Boy Boch sink and of course granite this time right over here with a bathtub granite 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 backsplash on the walls as well a nice big shower and look at this window it's huge it brings so much light into the entire bathroom and here, let's not forget, you have the toilet area as well. Right over here, bidet, toilet, and once again, a lot of windows. This one that you can open up in case you stink up the place. Let's go. We also have, Patrick, I am sure you've seen it, right here to my left, we have in a walk-in closet, entirely for this bedroom, big in size, and all it needs is you to come and put your own clothes in. And now let's go. Because we also have stairs leading up, I'll explain that later. We have this bridge that connects the two halves of the house. I don't know if you realized when we were filming by the pool, you could see one area looked very much like a bungalow and the other like an additional house that was attached. And that's how it kind of feels when you have this passageway here. That's the bridge with a see-through glass covering the area. And I'm not going to show it too quick. When we entered the house, I said the ceiling height was insane. So Patrick, come a bit closer and maybe pop up the camera so that we can get a good idea of this ceiling height and, and design that we have here featured in the house. Impressive, right? Now, as I was saying, we're, the two halves, this bridge is dividing it. And starting from here, this is the entire section of the master suite with a gallery wall right over here, massive transit windows, once that even open up in case you want to take a different route from time to time, just to mash up some things. We enter <laughs> the master bedroom. The master bedroom, once again, is humongous in size. And it has the same shaped ceiling as the entry hall that we have seen, and you have a lot of space. The bed that's facing south, transit windows that offer that sea view that Patrick couldn't see. Right over there, as I was saying, the transit windows for the sea view. A nice little niche over here. It is big, but still very cozy. And last but not least, once again, we have pocket doors that lead way to this enormous bathroom. Here we have a Victorian Albert bathtub. I already said it once. There's such good bathtubs that they get 30 years of guarantee. Mind blowing. Same granite, backsplashed walls on granite, granite, Ar architect, granite, granite, backsplashed walling on the floor as well, and a little rainbow shower. And moving on, we have the same Tosso marble splashed on the vanity, and the same Hans Grohe tabs that are really funky, elegant, and top of the notch. There is a bathroom, toilet, I mean, it's the same as the one we saw before. And from here, we also walk into the walk-in closet, which is for the master bedroom. Relatively good in size, I would even say, that the other one's slightly bigger. This being the master, it should have maybe a bigger walk-in closet, shouldn't it? Yes, it should. <clears throat> maybe just looks a bit smaller because there's nothing inside. Again, pocket doors, creating a good subdivision. And that is it for this level. 
And now I'm gonna show you what the stairs leading up actually lead to. So let's go. Love how light everything is. You have recessed lighting just above. We switched it off, it flickers a little bit. And here we have the staircase leading up to an additional humongous space. All the details and the square meters are in the description, so feel free to double check what I'm saying and to get the measurements right. And now let's have a look at this solarium here. Okay, humongous solarium. Let's start off with your own private pool on the upper level deck right over here. It's actually a jacuzzi pool. So imagine you come here. From here you see the entire mountain range up to La Concha even and you do see through the bushes and the trees, the ocean view. Fantastic, Patrick. Let's continue, there's more. Did you know? Of course he did. All right. So, this actually wraps around the entire house. So you have these little niches all over the roof terrace where you can even sunbathe naked because that is what I wanted to point out in this house. It feels so private because you have all the greenery that protects you from anyone spying on you. You have great visibility from here, but also the privacy that you're looking for when you live in Marbella. And that is basically it. We're just gonna walk around a little bit further, show you all the space that could be used for anything that you desire. And from here, we might even catch the sea view Patrick didn't see before. So flip the camera. You see that? And now we're gonna go down to the living room again. I'm back in the first floor where we have the two basically master suites. And I'm gonna take the elevator just for the sake of it being here. So see you in another life, brother. Of course you can make an offer. Anything below 6.850 is not gonna go, so you better raise your, raise your offer. All right, I need to go. All right, bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just to point out the same marble flooring that is on the first floor and the second floor is also inside. Really elegant. Now we're back in the hallway and I would like to say thank you to everyone who watched it until now because we still have the basement to go. So let's do it. Stairs and down we go. All right, basement time. 434 square meters of area, usable. Let's check it out, come on, let's go. Now this entire space here could be used for whatever you want. Gym, television room, television room. Gym, cinema room, billiard, whatever you desire. This is humongous, light lit because of the loopholes that we have here, a lot of space that could be yours to design. But I think we said enough, let's continue. Right over here we have a guest toilet. Come on. The garage. Now this is a garage for at least five cars. Ample in size, transit, windows and of course recessed lights to display the beautiful cars that you may have and last but not least from here we also have a staff compartment but let's show it very quickly in the detail shots squeaky doors so we said detail shots but to be quite frank there is not so much to see for detail shots so let me just quickly show you and explain you this is a kitchen with pre-installed uh, electrics and water pipes for machinery. We have right over here come a bedroom with a window and a bathroom. The same oak flooring than in all bedrooms. So quality throughout, more closet space right over here, bathroom with a shower. I'm not gonna show that, it's quite basic. And from here onwards, the clever thing about this laundry room slash um, maid's quarters is that it connects these stairs that lead all the way up back to the kitchen where we were already once. Here we are, back in the kitchen. 
where we were touring before, somatic kitchen. I like it, it's very big in size. Let's go back outside. Ah, oh. what you have in a garden, I need to point that out one more time. It's so manicured. You have a lot of great nature here. Palm trees that are at least 30 meters high, which take years to grow. They've been here before I was even born. But then you also have the newer plantation here and all aligned on that wall, you have an array of palm trees, beautiful. Now, if you like today's video, like always, make sure to give us the thumbs up. If you're looking at it and you say, I like Guadamina Baja because it's safe, secure, it's second night beach, walking distance to the beach is probably like three meter, um, minutes, probably 50 meters, not more, right Patrick? 50 meters to the beach and you say this house is what I'm looking for make sure to contact us it'll be our pleasure to show it to you now it was a Mauer Brothers production so I'm gonna turn around and take this away from my brother and also mutually like to say goodbye because my brother is always behind the camera but he's actually the better real estate agent I'm just the guy who likes to talk the most right yep so <laughs> yep yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. All the love and do subscribe if it's the first time that you've seen it. And for those who are subscribed, don't unsubscribe. Ciao.